What up, food fans? It's Bobby, and I don't know about you guys, but I've never had an epic turkey burger. I've had a lot of shitty ones, but like most things in life, if you want it done right, you gotta do it yourself. So I thought, let's make an epic one that's low fat, almost no carbs, and has cheese. So today we're gonna make a lean and mean turkey burger with cloud bread bun. So if you love healthy recipes that actually taste good and have a little creativity to them, you might want to subscribe to my channel. I'm rocking out new recipes every week and I would so love for you to join the Flav City community. In front of me, I'm starting with a pound and a half of ground turkey thighs. I usually use ground turkey breasts, but they're just too lean for these burgers. And as soon as we slap them on old fireball over here, they're gonna get dry. Now to form these burgers, I use my favorite tip ever. I grab a mayo lid. This is obviously a Costco or warehouse size mayo lid. And I put it down and I cover it with plastic wrap. And we're sticking in the Costco theme and going these super sized plastic wrap too and then cover your mayo lid or peanut butter lid with that. It's nice to mix it up first, that way the ground turkey mixture becomes more together and it's not gonna fall apart. Then grab a nice portion here, slap that right into the lid and just press it to the sides. And the beauty of the lid is it's gonna help form a wall, a Jon Snow worthy wall. <laughs> just lift it out and the burger pops out of the mold just like that. Then I just smash it down with my fingers to make it nice and thin because I don't like thick burgers. I think they overcook on the outside by the time the middle's done. So I'm gonna make it kind of like a smash burger or Shake Shack style. Way less calories though. Now one cheeseburger would be enough, but a double turkey cheeseburger smash burger sounds even more legit. So let me grab one more portion here, get it in ye old mold and we'll be good to go. Now let's take a trip back to the Burger Academy 101 session. When you cook burgers, do you want them to be chilled or do you want them to be room temperature? Leave a comment below. And if you said chilled, you're 100% right because if the room temperature, they can easily fall apart and the texture could get kind of mealy. So I'm gonna stash them in the fridge for about five to 15 minutes. Now to add even more flavor to these burgers, but no additional fat and barely any calories, I'm gonna grab a Vidalia onion from Georgia. I'm going to cut this into rings. Now the thing about sweet onions or Vidalia onions is that when you char them or grill them, we didn't start a fire yet. Let's not, let's not freak out, but we might start one later. So I'm glad they're in the neighborhood. When you grill these guys, they get super sweet and almost jammy, but Grilling or cooking in general or life in general is nothing without a Bobby spice rub. So I'm gonna grab some smoked paprika here and add about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of ancho chili powder. But first let's dust the onions with a little pinch of salt and then pinch over some of the spice rub. Flip her over and do the same exact thing. And then to help the grilling even more, I'm gonna drizzle a teaspoon of grapeseed oil and rub it all around. I preheated my grill on medium high for about 10 minutes. Let's put the onion rings down. And just like you're cooking in a pan or a cast iron pan, like I always do inside, you have to preheat the grill for at least 10 minutes. Otherwise the grates won't be really hot. Now, probably the best part about cooking outside is I can be messy AF and this is how I clean outside. <laughs> Those are gonna go for about seven or eight minutes on each side until they're charred and jammy. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab the burgers back from the fridge and hop those on the grill also. Now I know some people like to put onions, bell peppers, other stuff inside their burgers. That to me is called a meatloaf. I just love a salt and pepper crust. So let me grab some salt and pinch over a generous amount. And then a few cracks of pepper. You want to be a little more aggressive with the salt than you think because turkey is bland as can be and the salt will actually bring out that turkey flavor. I like to spray the grates with a little bit of non-stick. That way the burgers won't stick. You could also use a rag that has some oil too. Now let's flip these guys onto the grill. Perfect. And then give it a slight press down to make sure it's nice and flat, aka smash burger style. You hit it with some more salt and pepper. Now once those burgers go down, you do not touch them for five minutes. Take your spatula or your tongs and put it away. Tweet me, hit me up on Instagram or the Flav City Facebook, because if you start playing with those burgers now, they'll fall apart, they'll stick, and they're not gonna get those insane char marks. Now, to make this turkey burger epic, I am using cloud bread. Have you guys ever made this before? It's a three ingredient homemade bread that is gluten-free, has almost no carbs, and it only takes literally 30 minutes from start to finish. 
They're so easy to make, and this is how you do it. Crack three eggs into a large bowl, carefully separate the egg yolks, and place those in a new bowl. Add some cream of tartar to the egg whites and beat them on high for a couple minutes until they form stiff peaks. Add three tablespoons of light cream cheese to the egg yolks and whisk those for a few minutes until smooth and creamy. Then add the egg whites to the yolks and carefully fold the mixture until everything is well incorporated, making sure to fold and not stir. Scoop a half a cup of mixture onto a sheet tray that's lined with parchment paper and then use a spoon to form it into the shape of a bun. Top each bun with a dusting of dried oregano and some grated Parmesan cheese. Bake in a 300 degree oven for 30 minutes until nice and golden brown, and they all look like little pillows of joy. All right, let's turn these onions now. It took about nine minutes. Oh, dude, that is what I'm all about. Before I flip the burgers, the onions look done. Let's get those off the grill. And you know the turkey burgers are ready to be flipped when the juices are kind of pooling on top and they look kind of white and opaque on the side. Give it a flip to each one. Perfect. Now immediately go down with the cheddar cheese and close the lid. I want that cheese to really melt and just enrobe around the turkey burgers. So closing the lid will create like an oven-like environment and help me achieve that. Oh, please culinary gods, let the cheese melt perfectly. Oh, snap. Look at those burgers, dude. That is epic. The cheese is bubbly. It's completely hugging the burger. Let's get it off the grill immediately. Oh, I love, love, love gooey cheese. And look at that, you guys. Even if you think you don't like a turkey burger, you're gonna wanna put that in your belly. And if you wanna make your life easier while the grill is hot, clean it. All the gook will come off super easy. If you wait till it cools down, it's gonna stick on the grill and it's gonna ruin the grits. See, cleaning and cooking from Bobby, the modern day man in the flesh. All right, let's build this epic double smash turkey burger. We're gonna take the bottom cloud bun here. Put a piece of romaine on the bottom here. That is like a little crunchification. And grab one of the patties. Put it right on top. Grab the other beauty. Put it right on top. Then grab the onions. And don't even bother chopping them. Just grab the whole ones like this. Slap it right on top of that cheese. And then take the top cloud bread bun and ever so gently nestle that on top like it's Mount freaking Everest. And there it is, you guys, a double smash turkey burger with cloud bread bun. Dang, that is fine. I pretty much can't think of a more perfect setting to enjoy my smashy burger. Mm. This is a masterpiece. The turkey is juicy. The cheese is gooey. The bun is like a little pillow of heaven in my mouth. And those onions are spiced perfectly and so freaking sweet. You have to try this recipe. And when you do, you have to tag me on social media. Everything is down below in the description box. Two more healthy recipes are right below me now. As much as I love you guys, you have to go because I need to be alone with my smash burger. I'll see you next week. Until then, keep on cooking and I'll keep on eating. Ah, oh, seriously, go away. I need to be alone. Unless you have beer. If you have cold beer, come on over.